Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will talk about constant model. Simply, this constant model, uh, the learner produces a model that always predicts either the majority for the classification, which is the relative frequencies of the class, or in the regression case, uh, it retains the mean. So either the majority of the class tasks uh, related to the uh, frequencies of the classes in the classification tasks, or it retain the mean. So if you are looking for a model that focus on the majority of the classes and the uh, uh, most frequent items in your data set, so you, use, you use constant. And if you are looking uh, for a model to, cal to count or calculate the mean for regression, then you use the constant model. Let's go and um, uh, see how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna grab the file and I'm gonna use uh, first uh, the uh, iris data set. Okay, so everything is set. So from here, I'm gonna go for test and score. This is the test and score. Okay, and I'm gonna use uh, const constant. Okay, this is the constant model. Okay, and as you can see, the classification is 0 0.33 and the accuracy area under curve is 0 0.5. This is low uh, relatively to other models. However, maybe your data set and you specifically uh, wanted uh, to have a model that looks for uh, the most frequent items or the majority of the items. So this model will uh, fit perfectly if you're using uh, the, uh, it in your data, data set. So uh, also you can also uh, predict, prediction, so we can connect to predict. Okay, and I'm gonna use it to file and I'm gonna use the predicted data set that we always use, which is this one, yes. And from here you will see that uh, it predicts the first one as Virginica, and the second one is Virginica and Virginica. This is, uh, uh, يعني, the accuracy here is, is, is uh, high. The, sorry, the accuracy is low comparing to other models. So as I said, sometime uh, based on your data set, you might need to apply this model based on the approach uh, that you are trying to uh, fulfill or to uh, apply. Uh, suppose that you have, for example, a data set that uh, you need to focus on the majority of the items, the most frequent items, then this model will fit perfectly. So of course, if you compare this, for example, to logistic regression in Iris data set, logistic regression, there, are, there will be yani, uh, huge differences, as you can see from here and here. This is the test. The logistic regression is 99.8 and 96 for classification. Okay, so maybe this is not the right uh, one for Iris data set. However, uh, you can go, for example, let's try maybe to use it for regression and let, let me remove the prediction. And let's just try to use different data sets. For example, I will use housing data set just, just for to see the results. It's uh, 84 uh, for MSE and for R, uh, RMSE it's 9.2, MIA uh, 6.2 and R2 is minus 0 0.003. Uh, let's try to use it for Titanic for example. Titanic data set. Where is the Titanic? This is the Titanic data set. Okay. And let's see the accuracy. It's 0 0.49 and classification accuracy is 0 0.67. So it's better than the iris data set. So as I said, it depends on your approach and what you are trying to achieve. So sometime you might use this uh, constant uh, model. So this is the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you in our next lesson. Bye.